Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are reviewing, there's no way I'm going to pronounce this, but it's a Harvester Ho plugin for Minecraft where you can set up a bunch of weird things, so let's get started. Alright, starting off, this plugin works on 1.8 through 1.15.2 or whatever 1.15 version there is. Um, it is version 2, there's been a lot of updates done to this plugin. I reviewed another one of these authors plugins, Auto Restart, earlier this week, and it's absolutely amazing. So they've they've done a great job on this. Um, some requirements is it does require Vault. This is also a premium plugin on MC Market, so it's not free. But this does require Vault, and it also requires some type of, of economy plugin. An example would be Iconomy Essentials X, Economy Plus Plus, something like that along the lines of that. So some of the features that it has is it has auto sell, auto collect, uh, auto collect, auto collect, dirt digger and permission support. It works on multiple crops through all versions like uh sugarcane, carrots, potatoes, wheat, wort, cocoa, bean, fruits and berries. Um it supports MCMO on holograms and you have skyblocks and uh, faction support. And it has developer APIs. Of course, everything's really cool. So some of the pictures on the screen is you can see it will go in this, but you have auto collect mode where if you just click it once, it auto collects for you. You have the auto sell, so you click it and it sells it for you. And you have full inventory. If your inventory is full, it won't collect. You have mode switch, so you can right shift click to switch between them and right click to turn between auto sell and auto collect. And you also have item drop confirmations here. The two commands are give and reload. Of course, the permissions are here, and you have a permission to use it as well. The developer API also is here, and they also have a great support, and they're all five-star reviews, which is terrific. So we're going to start off by going into the game. You can see I'm using Economy++ for this example. I, I haven't had any real, uh, uh, real um, experience with it, so I can't recommend it or uh, not recommend it, but I do recommend this plugin anyway. All right, so inside the configure file options, you have the option to enable holograms. In my case, I'm going to disable the hook for holograms just because I don't have it. But you can see it will set it up so you have this. Actually, I'm going to enable that to true, and I'll go ahead and drop holographic API into the server. Um, you have MCMMO. In this case, I'm not using that, but you have the auto you know, sell and auto collect for MCMMO and how much XP it gives for each one. And a few notes for the mode system. If you enabled the permission system option, make sure the default one is set to this. So permission system enabled, you can switch and switch and set all of these for yourself. So it's not the server's default permissions. You have the full inventory warning, the title messages. You can in enable the title for the full inventory as well if you wish. You can do confirm dropping when you press Q. Um, and you have extra settings like crops. And then you have the different... Uh, money per the drop chance and the minimum drop and the maximum drop if you have action bars for every single one in the game here of course you can um set this up yourself with this very very nice configure setting file here uh you also can change the color and everything else and all the messages in the plugin just through this file here which is pretty cool so we're gonna go up into the game now and we're going to check out what the heck is happening in game. So, first the thing we're going to need to do is I'm going to need to get one of those um, hose from the plugin. So, you're going to type the command Finther. I think it's Finth Finther. I, I have no clue. I'm going to give myself one with the uses of 50. So, I got myself one with a use of 50. And right now you can see it says 50 uses left on this item. It's currently set to auto collect. And you can see I can right click anywhere and it will auto it will change between auto collect and auto sell. And if I shift right click, it will be dirt digger and auto sell. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly just plant a bunch of crops. I'll be right back and we'll check out how the plugin works. Alright, so I've gone ahead and created a little area over here just for my uh, practice um, and showing it off. So one thing I'm going to do just to show you how you can switch it into dirt mode is just shift and right click and you can dig all the dirt you want on the ground here just like you would normally do and it would not use um, any of the special settings on this so you can use it just as a normal one. And there's the message which is the... Uh, drop message once again my minecraft version is a custom version of spigot so it's messing up this little symbol here because i don't have support for it on my spigot version but it normally works in your normal minecraft version so of course you can switch that in the configure file as well so if i wanted to drop it i just have to uh, press q twice 
as confirmation and I can drop it and when I pick it up it does the exact same thing I was doing before which is pretty cool so your items can be dropped passed between players you can trade them in auction and everything and everything will work exactly how it's designed to work if you go ahead and we switch back to auto sell you can see if I go ahead and right click this or if I uh, destroy it it will actually auto sell now since I don't have hologram uh, HD displays enabled it's not gonna pop up on the screen saying I sold it but I did and I can check my balance and um, oh I don't have economy enabled apparently um, which is weird I don't know why I didn't set that up but I may be able to set it up in a minute but I'll come back to that we'll go ahead and switch into auto collect mode and if I go ahead and left click you can see the crop is not ripe yet so that one was not ripe but this one was and I'm gonna go it says actually non, none of these are ripe why aren't these ripe hold on I'm gonna write this up oh it's still on auto sell not auto collect so you can see it's now collecting in my inventory and it says collected six times wheat, collected three times wheat, connected two times wheat, four times wheat, four times, two times, two times, five times, all of that stuff. So, and then of course it replants for you, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and that's not how I make, I need a crafting table for that. Oh my God, I'm losing my Minecraft mind here. So yeah, so you can auto sell, you can auto uh, crop and everything, which is pretty cool. Um, so if I left click, of course it will, that one's not ripe because it's not ripe, but this one is because it's a little, it's so weird to see the difference. You have this weird ripe and this one, but then you can still right click it and it gets ripe. I don't know. I'm maybe I'm blind and I am blind, but when I left click, you can see it collect successfully all that good stuff. And I'm, I've been misclicking most of the time, which is my problem, but it works pretty well. And everything I see has worked fine in the plugin so far. And the author is very supportive if you need assistance as well. So for auto sell, I'm going to try to set up the economy and I'll show you what it does. I'll be right back. Well, I have spent the last five minutes trying to get my economy working. But for some reason, the plugins I decide to use for vault and economy don't work properly. But anyway, I wanted to show you one more feature before I end the video. But trust me, the auto sell feature does work. I, for some reason, can't get um, economies working on my server. So I'm going to just go make my own economy plugin for Vault after this because I'm very disappointed in what Spigot has to offer, apparently. Um, so, anyway, um, for auto collect, you can see if I try to break one that's not fully grown, it's not going to let me break it. So this is great for Skyblock and Faction servers because when I'm up and down those aisles of sugarcane farms or whatever I'm making, I don't want to break the stuff that's not ripe. So it doesn't let you break it and it says in chat it's not ripe. Meanwhile, if it's ripe, you can break it and it says collected and it replants it automatically for you, which is really cool. So this plugin is amazing. I highly recommend checking it out and the author is great with support and everything. I apologize for me not being able to do the economy portion of the video. Don't know why it's not working on my end. I'll for sure look into that for future videos. If the author of Gens, if you want me to review any more of your plugins, let me know. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to review though. And if you have a plugin you want me to review, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.